Hi, I'm Eddie Jones, Air Arms Ambassador. We're out today in Staffordshire countryside doing some more pest control. Before we head out to do any pest control, um, we're going to talk about my setup. We've had a few questions regarding what I do on my pest control duties, the best practices, and the equipment we use. The three main pests that I normally shoot are rabbits, squirrels, and pigeons. They are the main three pest controllers after going control. I like to use the Galahad and I've got the HR today, the high power regulated. It's a good tool for all three pests, especially when you don't know what the conditions can be like. I like to take this out with me. I've um, fitted the Hawk Air Max. It's a 4B16B50. Not much difference to the Sidewinder. We've got the illuminated reticle at the back rather than the reticles. Slightly different as well, still milled up, but we have got a slightly different reticle. I've zeroed the FAC Galahad to 45 yards. If I'm going to shoot anything under that, I'll take the 177. But 45 to 60 yards, I know I'm confident enough that with the power, I'll cleanly dispatch anything that I eat. When I'm out pest controlling, it's not just the rifle that's important. The kit that we wear is important as well. So a good, strong pair of boots, good grip. That'll minimise any accidents on slippery ground. I prefer to wear a fleece. Jackets restrict the movement and you do get hot, even with a fleece you'll still get warm, but at least you can move freely better. You really need a good strong pair of trousers. The amount of times I've got caught on a barbed wire fence, so you want a good strong pair of trousers that are not going to get hooked up. We've got a good chance of seeing all three pests what I've mentioned already, rabbits, squirrels, pigeons. So let's head off and see what we can find. Grey squirrel. Perfect shot. Exactly where I put it on. If that had been normally with my 177, I would have definitely gone for the headshot. But as I've got the 2 to FAC, the chest shot, it's just as clinical as any headshot with a 177 pellet. There's trees that are getting stripped off, even where I'm standing now. We've got hazelnut trees. And they don't just want the nuts, they're stripping the bark off as well. The reason we're here to shoot the wood pigeons and trying to keep them under control, the disease in the faeces is harmful to not just horses, to all livestock. One of the main things when I'm shooting pigeons is I shoot from a hide. You've got more chance of getting a clean shot in a pigeon when shooting from a hide. There's two trees right in front of us. We've got a nice background with the ferns, so we're going to try and build a hide here. Try and use the stuff that's turning, rather than pulling out the fresh greenery. There's plenty turning, plenty broken. That's my simple hide, the Eddie Jones five minute hide. And it'll do the job, nothing will see you behind there. Nine times out of 10, I'll see them flying in the gun will be mounted ready before they even land 
So as they're looking round, that's when I take my shot. After using the 177 Galahad, it was a no-brainer to move up to the FAC with this particular model. It's nice and compact, perfect for this type of eye shooting. Well, after a good start, we had pigeons coming straight in within five minutes. It was getting settled down. We were having pigeons coming in. With it being working farm, farmers obviously got some work on. So we're going to move on and see if we can find something else. We're going to have a little walk around now. Last bit of sunlight. Just see if we can get pest number three, the rabbit. As you can see, this hole here was right by where we shot the rabbits. Since then, it's only been a few weeks, but if you come up and have a look here, we've got another one. So that's within a few weeks. That's why it's important that we keep them on top of these rabbits. I'm gonna put the cover back on this one. Hopefully there's no hole under that one, and I'll cover the hole with this. No. Well, we managed to get two out of the three pest species on this farm. We've got the squirrel, the pigeon. Unfortunately, the rabbit eluded us. We've tried numerous methods today. We've used the hide made out of netting and used a bit of fawn around it. We tried stalking as well. We managed to get the squirrel, but it didn't work out for the rabbits this time like it did last time. Well, I've been pest controlling for over 20 years now. The technology may have changed, but the principles are still the same. 